Hey guys, and welcome back once again. Today, I'm going to talk about the X-Plane 11 settings. In this video, I will cover the best settings for your device, how they work, and finally, I am going to do an FPS test with my new PC. As always, all links will be provided in the description. To begin with, I'm going to explain how the settings work. In this video, we are going to use the graphic settings as they process the simulator and control how it appears and performs. So the settings on the left are powered by your graphics card and the settings on the right are powered by the processor. So I recommend doing some research on your specs and finding the better one. But overall, the sliders on the left and on the right work together. So first, there's going to be some trial and error. The goal in this video is to get 30 FPS or higher, so I recommend to just lower all the sliders to as low as they go. Then push the sliders up a setting until you reach a consistent 30 FPS with these settings. And now that you have the settings that you think are the best for your system, let's now go and optimize them. These are the settings I am currently using. To start off, let's talk about the visual effects. This controls the overall appearance quality of everything. The largest difference is between medium and high because high enables HDR which allows spill lights. Here's the difference between medium and HDR. So obviously there is a massive difference between medium and high. With that I do recommend putting this setting on high but if your device can't handle it then I would put the setting to low as there is not a major difference between medium and low. But overall test all the settings out and see which one performs and looks the best. The next setting is texture quality. This setting obviously controls the textures. For the setting, I would stick around medium as it does not look bad and does not greatly affect your FPS, but again, do some trial and error and find the best setting. Here's a quick comparison from low texture quality to high. With that, I do recommend setting your texture quality on medium. If you want, you can put it on a higher setting, but the difference in my opinion is so small it is not worth the frame drop. The next setting is anti-aliasing. This setting is probably the most difficult to configure in my opinion as it works with the visual effects. It is a, a technique used to add greater realism to a digital image by smoothing jagged edges on curved lines and diagonals. Basically what it does is control how smooth the lines are. Here's a quick example between FXAA and 4X on high visual effects. With that, I do recommend putting this setting on 2X if your visual effects are on high, but if they are on medium or anything lower than high, I recommend putting them on 4X. The next setting is an isotropic filtering. This setting controls the quality of the textures. There is not much to say about this setting as it does not make too big of a difference. With that, I recommend putting this setting on 4X. You can put it higher or lower, but I really can't see much of a difference between them. The next setting is number of world objects. In my opinion, this setting does the most. The higher the setting, the more objects it loads. So with that, here's an example between minimum and maximum. So I do recommend setting the setting too high as it looks great and does not greatly affect your FPS, but of course if your computer can't run it, set the setting a little lower or maybe adjust some other settings so you can run it on high. The next setting is reflection detail. Please just set this to minimum. The setting is basically pointless and there is literally no visual difference between low and high. The final settings are draw parked aircraft, draw shadows on scenery, and Vulcan. 
These settings may not seem very important, but they are actually one of the most important settings. Let's first start off with parked aircraft. This just draws in random planes at the gates of each airport. You can turn the setting on if you want, but do keep in mind it will decrease your FPS by about 3 to 5. The next setting is draw shadows on scenery. In my opinion, this setting makes a huge difference, so here is a comparison between on and off. So the very last setting is Vulcan. All this does is make your sim smoother and adds about 3 FPS. I keep it off because my rain effect plugin is not compatible with Vulcan, but overall you can have this setting on if you want. So I do have some announcements to make, so I will do the FPS test in another video. Sorry about that. So first of all, my Discord server is dead. Like, no one is in it, and I don't think anyone has said anything in about a month. This probably has to do with me not uploading often anymore, so now that I have a thousand subscribers, I'm going to really try to make a good community, and yes, upload a lot more too. With that, I made a membership feature. Basically, I just need money to do giveaways, which my goal is to do weekly. All the profit I make off of memberships, I am just going to give back to you in giveaway form. So that is really all I have to say. Thanks again for all the support and see you guys in the next one.